Yo yo, this is Odo. I hope you're doing good. I just dropped the new sample pack for free uh, with 20 loops in there. So today we're gonna make a beat with one of those. Let me show you some of the samples first. And I got three midis in there too. Okay, so I'm going with the heat loop. And we're gonna pull it into the slicer, pitch it down, turn the attack up, turn the volume up. Let's see what it sounds like. I don't like this. So, what I did to the sample, pretty pretty simple, I just uh, took the half time, put it to one bar, put the swell all the way up and the mix very low to like 3 or 4% so that it's just in the background, the half time. And I put a slight reverb on it.
Okay, so that's basically how you make a beat with loops. Uh, what I did was this one and then on the second one I just pitched it down 12 semitones. Then an important step are the hi-hats to give it the bounce. So I actually use three different ones but you can do it with one, you can do it with ten if you'd like. This is the pattern of the first hat. This is the second hat. And together they sound like this. Quite a bounce. Uh, and then I also added some little rows in between. And I added a little fill at the end. Then uh, the kick. Basically it's just a very good kick and sound selection is key. But when it comes to the kick, I try to keep it quite simple and just take the best kick you can find for the beat, for the mood of the beat you have. And sometimes I change the velocity a little bit. Then for the 808, it just basically follows the kick. I did a little, the little stutter effect. So yeah, uh, that's all there is to the beat. Uh, when it comes to the mixing, I just place it all in the mixer. The boy Rotten Luke, shout out. He asked how I mix. So basically, I don't do a lot. I just uh, pre-mix it in, the, in this thing, whatever you call that. And basically I put my, I center my kicks and my 808. I sometimes widen some hi-hats. Depends on the beat though. That's basically all I do for the mix. I don't do a lot because it's really about good sound selection because I, I choose the kick that fits the 808 so I don't need to side chain it. Then I choose hats that fit the beat. I choose a snare that fits and that's clean. And that's most of the time all I do. And then you got the soft clipper on the master. So not much to do and I export it like that so I don't leave headroom I don't even know why I don't really do it and it still works because I basically don't master my beats so you can just pull them down I just make sure it's pre-mixed never never left headroom never had any complaints because mixing engineers they can just pull the volume down like that because I don't put any plugins on a master besides soft clipper yeah that's basically what I do Hope you learned something to get the sample kit for free. Follow me on Instagram and leave a comment on the post I made. And tag three of your best friends. Peace.